Oh, oh uh, right before this video, I turned on the camera and I was like, oh, should I pop my zit? And, and like, no, you're not supposed to pop zits. You're supposed to just leave them alone. And then in like a few days, a day or two, like they kind of go down. And yeah, I used to always like do that. And then I got some like scars around here. So it's like, oh man, such a beautiful face. Like a year or two ago, like I didn't have all this bad acne. And then I get like, I'm just like, after I get out, out of my house, like my acne gets super bad. I don't know if it was my diet, probably that had something to do with it. Um, I was, uh, while I was moving through the hotels after I got kicked out of my house because I broke my sister's speaker with a samurai sword and the police put a protective order between me and my sister. Um, when I was out at the motels, I was just like eating whatever bullshit. Like, I didn't have order and like, like I hadn't um, fully committed to vegetarianism for a while. I think it was after a while. Um, I eventually did. Um, I, I, here we go picking at my face again. I just scratched off a freaking scab or whatever. So stupid. But like I was going around the motels and like I just like it, it was fun. Like it's it's really fun eating meat. Um, it, it's um, like like the, all the tasty foods. Like I was just eating. What I'm talking about is a sandwich. I remember buying those like. Uh, what are they called? I don't remember what the term is, but like, like just at Maverick, there's these like two sandwiches with like some cheese and some ham and then bread. And um, it's like super um, tasty having, uh, and then there's like what, Hot Pockets? Those are kind of good. Pizza rolls, those are kind of good. Pizza rolls seem way worse. Are they worse? Like the, it's like they're, not flavorful anymore or something like that they i swear they used to be chalk pull a uh, flavor but um for the most part it's a good thing like it does keep me from eating a lot of junk food um and, and just in general like keeps my diet um cleaner but um so like frick what to talk about like I don't know, just like, as always, it's like, remember to walk after your freaking meals if you can, um, at least big ones, um, maybe if you eat something smaller, like, you can get away with it, or if you eat, like, low glucose, but, um, like, going on a minimum, 10 minutes, and then, I, I don't know, I kind of hate these fact videos, to some degree, but, like, doing, um, 30 minutes that's what I do and like hopefully that helps me lose weight it, it's a longer exercise it's like better for cardio or what else normally I'd be doing a freaking whole mile run or I mean a four mile run um, or 3.67 really um, and like that really seems to help with like weight loss like if you eat a freaking donut and your shins aren't, like if your shins don't hurt, like the bones in your shins, it's like, ah, pussy, you just go outside and run after a donut. But people don't want to, they're like, oh, that's too much effort. And they just like lay on the couch, like freaking forever, like missing out on higher cognitive states and something like that. And just like living life, uh, not feeling like, like someone who at least works out for 30 minutes every day intensely or relatively intensely full body like like just like 100 squats with two and with 90 pounds i don't know how to make the equivalence for other people but like uh, i'm always talking about this anyways it's okay there's reoccurring new people or what else but like just uh making the best of it like the best of your day like i spent probably an hour 50 minutes or so doing some weight workouts um just like doing curls and then waiting like a minute or two 
and that's really time consuming but like waiting for the curls and then finishing four sets of those and then like doing shoulders and maybe doing three sets of those and making um progress like like just getting muscle protein synthesis going particularly first thing in the morning i like to do fasted workouts um they're great for autophagy and like just like sort of recycling gunk and all those things through your body it's uh, probably great for longevity and and just kind of adds to the benefits of a fast and then but but usually i eat afterwards because um the following time after you break down the muscle like if you work out and then like say you fast all the way like you work out in in the morning and you fast all the way till like five or six and then you have a meal um your muscles just aren't gonna be as um ready for they're not gonna absorb the or use the use the protein as well um so so like yeah the, a, anyways so yeah the time between when you eat like if you eat in the morning you do a workout like maybe it's better to fast and then like do a second workout i don't know um like doing two workouts with lifting twice a day i used to do that when i was in my my old house in Roy or what I was I used to freaking go to the gym sometime like I was always inconsistent thinking about it um ah uh, damn it I freaking picked up my face I went auto mode um being on auto mode like just not automatically like just speaking whatever like I can't turn off the auto mode in my head um, there's, it's, it's like this girly voice and then sometimes it's masculine, but usually it's this girly voice and it's, it's, it's like a disease and it's from the context of, it's like, um, people are gossiping about me from a distance, even though like realistically, like someone could be like over there next to those crows and talking to someone relatively loudly and it'd be hard to hear them or what else. Um, I guess, yeah, totally, totally how things work. Um, I'm not freaking experiencing uh, any, no, anyways. So something, it's something like I freaking have this slight obsession, just a little bit, slight obsession feel like I'm being watched a lot of the time but because of these hallucinations it's just like like if I just think if I'm walking past the house and there's even the slightest inkling of a subconscious thought of like there's people in the house suddenly it's like the representation of my perspective of what those people think they just like start laying into me or something like that um, and whatever vagueness like if I'm sitting at home um, my roommate, if I'm thinking about my roommate, particularly they start talking about um, things related to him. It's like, oh, give me money. Um, you're an asshole. You could have told me that. You could have been more honest with me or what else. Or, or what else. Because like, I kind of have a, a fear of normal people when I don't really know how open they are. Um, to uh, about telling them about good stuff because I like I'm afraid that they're like just like oh you've gone like your whole life without like really ever learning about anything specifically related to how great you could be and like like people don't have that sense of that heroic sense of like that domain of what super real thing they can manifest and become everybody has that potential but next video goodbye